Hello and welcome to this PlayStation 4 controller update video. This is my third one. The reason for it is Windows 8. I recently got a Windows 8 laptop, which is what I'm using right here, and the previous DS4 tool doesn't work with it. Uh, the reason for that is it was actually discontinued. So the 1.2.2 is the final version, and um, the developer isn't working on it anymore. So there is a guy. Um, on this website here who picked up the project and is working on it again so you can see he's got the change log and everything but we'll deal with that in a moment first up we are going to uh, I'm going to show you guys how to connect a Bluetooth device why didn't Bluetooth show up there we go There we go. So what you have to do, you have to set it, press the share button, the PlayStation button, so it's in that flashy blinking mode, and then you, well, it worked with me, I turned on my, blue, or turned off my Bluetooth, turned it back on, and as you can see, it is now um, installing the drivers and pairing it. So Bluetooth controller is now connected, as you can see by the word connected. We can close out of that. So next, let's go to the website. On the website, um, the download link is kind of hard to find, so I'm just going to kind of point it out for you. Down here, at the bottom of the change log, there are the attachments. You'll want to click on the middle one. It says it's 1400 kilobytes. It's actually 25 megabytes. It's perfectly fine, trust me. Then you'll run it, like so. Agree. Press install, and then run. There's no bloatware or anything. I just have it already installed, so I don't really have a need to do it again. Oh, wait. Oh, dang it. I guess you kind of have to. Okay, so let's, let's go back to the downloads. Download. There we go. There we go. Installing. Let's press run this time. And as you can see, or hear, there is that sound, DS4 Windows Controller 1 using profile, blah, 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 blah. The light is on, meaning it's detected it, and so it is now paired. You can charge it like normally, and it just works. There's profiles you can have where you can create a new profile. Let's call this test. Okay. And then you can map all the buttons to whatever you want, just like before uh, in the previous versions it has all your games and stuff which you have here it makes profiles for them I suppose I don't really care too much um, it's got your log and then it has your settings you can have it start with Windows you can have it start with Windows and start minimize you can have it hide all the DualShock 4 controllers which you may need to do for some games um, basically it hides the Bluetooth controller so the games don't detect that one and it only shows the um, the other controller and you can have it select a uh, Bluetooth device by default. Uh, so here in the controllers you can have up to four connected um, and they'll work. So then in file you can just exit and then in tools Windows controllers Bluetooth devices device manager and X input test. These are all little nifty things where you can test all the buttons for Windows controller. Um, for Bluetooth devices, it just opens up Bluetooth devices, where for some reason on my computer it doesn't really do that that often. Uh, device manager just opens up, well, the device manager. Um, and X input test, it just lets you test the directionality of the buttons and stuff. So here you can see the gyro and stuff, change colors. Um, and then you can select, select a profile. I'm just going to leave it at default. Um, and that's really all I need to do. So let's run a game. I don't actually think. Oh, I can run it with Fez. I just downloaded that. So hopefully this Camtasia screen recorder. Um, well, will record the screen. Oh, okay. I have to do first time install. That's great. Just gonna edit this out. Okay. So I have the thing. Uh, I have Fez set up. It's currently running off the controller. See, so press down, it's going down. I can go back, go up to continue my game. And so, 
I've I've beat the game 100%. So I forgot the controllers, but as you can see, you can move around, you can jump. Okay, yeah, right and left um, trigger things are how you rotate. I don't know why everyone hates Phil Fish. He made a great game. How do I go in? I think it's down. Nope, wrong button. Okay, not that one. Okay, you press up and A, I think. Or just A. Okay, yeah, up and A, that's it. So yeah, it works perfectly. Uh, right now it's on a tiny screen because I just put it in windowed mode just to kind of speed it up. But yeah, let me kind of X off this. And that is the DualShock 4 controller. I don't think this battery percentage is correct, but eh, who cares. Anyways, that's it. Hope you like this update video. Hope it's helpful. Um, I may or may not respond to your comment if it's insightful, because I don't always know the answer. Um, but on that forum page, uh, it should be there. You should be able to post a comment there if you have a dire question. Uh, and something you should know: when you exit off, it doesn't actually exit off. It minimizes it to here. To close out of it, you have to actually go to exit, and then that'll actually disconnect the controller, like that. But when you start DS4 tool again, it will detect it again. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed, and goodbye.